everybody, and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. We are, I think, finishing Dantooine. Uh, so like, comment, and subscribe, and let's try and figure this out. Into the ruins we go. With Bastila and with Candorus. Ancient droid. Droid speaking language I do not recognize. What language is that? That is a different language. I still don't understand you. I think the droid is trying to communicate with us by cycling through a variety of languages. Each time it spoke, it was using a very different alien dialect. The droid can probably understand us. The only problem is it may not have been programmed with the phenomes of a language we can understand. I can reproduce any of the language spoken by the slaves of the builders. I understood that. I recognize this language. I recognize this language as well. It's an archaic variant of the Selkath dialect spoken on Manan. Why would a droid on Dantooine be programmed to speak ancient Selkath? Communication was fine. I'm not sure that the slaves constructed this temple according to the wishes of the builders. You are not of the slave species, neither of the builders. You are like the one who came before. It must be referring to Revan. The Dark Lord and Malak likely encountered this droid when they explored these ruins. What are you and why are you here? Enforce discipline. The Star Forge. How long have you been here? Ten revolutions would take more than 20,000 years. If this is true, then this droid is nearly 5,000 years older than the Republic itself. Uh, there must be some mistake. Infallible. Where are the builders? The set. These builders must have been an extinct people. Though it is strange, there's no record of their existence. Even the archives of the Jedi Academy make no mention of them. In the years before the Republic, the Huts were a dominant force in the galaxy, but they never constructed an empire. In fact, I know of no species that would fit with this information. Interesting. Power of the Star Forge. What is the Star Forge? Machine of Invincible Might. Could you be more specific? Nope. <laughs> the droid is obviously not programmed with the knowledge we seek. The Star Forge sounds like some type of weapon, perhaps. Though in fact, it could be anything. Factory or Maybe. weapon plant? That might explain how the Sith were able to amass a fleet so quickly. But I suspect the Star Forge is more powerful than a mere factory. Maybe the droid has more information we can use. It seems to respond to you. Perhaps you should ask it something else. Tell me about Revan and Malak. The Jedi. The droid must be talking about poor Nemo. The Council sent him here to investigate, and it cost him his life. Did you kill the Jedi? How can I prove myself worthy? Okay. Revan and Malak unlocked the sealed door and uncovered the secrets of the Starforge. 
Now Malak is using the Starforge to fuel his conquest of the Republic. We have to find out what they uncovered. We have to find a way to unseal these doors to learn more about the Starforge. The Republic is depending on us. Poor Nemo. I want the Ion Blaster as my alternate. Oh, that's cool. Alright. Guardian Droid. Do I have an Ion Grenade? I have two. Got a shield. This is what I do. Come on, whittle them down. Glad Candra's still here. Ooh. So when my power blast lands or takes a good chunk, I just gotta keep on. Nope, I gotta cure Bastila. I, I'm, I'm missing. Okay, Vassal just did a heal. The force fights with me. Come on. Wow. <laughs> Might as well bring the back up and pace with that one. What a fight that was. Ancient Terminal. Um, talk to the computer. Few extremely unusual characters appear on the screen. Okay. Insert data pad. More familiar characters. Nice. Talk to it. Data interpretation complete. Language analysis complete. Identify three primary life-giving seed world types. Well, grassland. Planetary type conducive to life. Additional seed world types. I would... I would say arboreal. And... Oceanic. Breaking life seal. Ooh. Did we succeed? Maybe. Anything to add?
Well, we're gonna get us all back to full, and then we're gonna save and go into transition. All right, let's do it again. Good. Whoa. Here it is. There, take that. Die. That'll show you. There, take that. That'll show you. That'll show you. Come on, don't miss. How is your shot so bad, Gaston? Shoot, she's down. What? Power blast him, Candorous. Yes. That'll go. See what happens. Die! That'll show you. That'll show you. I'm down, yep. Huh? That'll show you. Finish him, Candorous. Come on, one hit, one hit. Come on, Candorous. Oh. Candorous, you are my hero. What can I do? Hopefully get more health, Bastila, dear lord. I assume I gotta do the same process here. Let's see if this works twice. Perfect. Death giving. So the offset. Desert, volcanic, and barren.
Might as well bring the back up into line with it. I thought that was someone else. I'm not used to wearing those goggles. I am not con controlling him. Now I am. Okay. What is it? This is a, a map. Some sort of intergalactic navigational chart. Revan and Malik must have used this to lead them to the Star Forge. We could use this map to follow their path and find the Star Forge ourselves. But we must be wary. They may have laid traps to conceal what they found. So what is the Star Forge? I don't know. But Revan and Malik were very interested in finding it. It must be a tool of some type. Or maybe a weapon. Perhaps the Council can tell us more. I think this map might be the key to finding the Star Forge, whatever it is. See this world here? This looks like Korriban, a Sith world. And if that's Korriban, this is Kashyyyk, and Tatooine, and here's Manan. There are pieces missing. Incomplete hyperspace coordinates, corrupted data, and there doesn't seem to be anything indicating where the Star Cell Forge bar. itself might be. Perhaps those worlds have I was more clues. That too. This map can't take us to the Star Forge, but I know that Revan and Malik visited Korriban at least once. Perhaps they discovered something more there. They may have found something on each of the other worlds that completed this map. Maybe if we find all the pieces, they'll lead us to the Star Forge. It's some way to destroy it. We must inform the Council of what we've discovered. They must decide our next course of action, though I suspect our task has only just begun. All right, looks like we're running. Or at least getting out of the temple first. Free medical attention is nice. Okay. So I believe that wraps up Dantooine. We go talk to the council. Alright, we're talking to Bastila first. How can I help? You look like someone's bothering no, you. Not bothering you. Not exactly. I've been thinking about what the Jedi Council said about the two of us. There is a bond between us. I do not dispute that. I can feel it, as I'm sure you can. The nature of that bond and its effect on our mission remain in question. Twenty years of Marge's bond and it doesn't bond me, my predecessor. I don't believe this in this bond. Doesn't this bond me, my predecessor? Necessary, perhaps, but it is no guarantee of our success. I admit, I'm a little disturbed that such a bond could be possible in the first place. I saw your service records when you were transferred aboard the Ender Spire, but nothing beyond that. I know very little about you. I'd like to ask you some questions, given our relationship. Okay. Don't worry, these are simple questions. Nothing too intrusive. First, what kind of background do you have? Uh, nothing extravagant. Oh, good. On which planet were you born? Duralia, I guess. Right. Your current age is? Healthy living, you know. Wasn't all this in yes. my search records? Well. The truth is, I was studying how you responded to my questions. Your reactions helped me judge you. 
This was a test for me to learn more about your character. And what did you find out? You were honest, which is good. And you treated this as a serious matter, which it is. This bond we share will shape both our destinies. It is not to be taken lightly. But I imagine you've had enough questions for a while. So many things have happened to you since Taurus. It's probably a lot for you to absorb. We can speak again later, after you've had time to think about all this. Sure. What do you make of that, Candorous? <laughs> Candorous is such a good conversationalist. It's kind of like the Squidward to my Spongebob. Hello, Council. Ah, you have returned, young Padawan. Have you discovered oh, what it was that Revan and Malak sought in those ruins? Found an incomplete star map and mention of something called a this star forge. This news of a star forge is disturbing. Action is required, but we must not do so in haste. We must discuss recent events in light of this new information. We should consult the Jedi archives to see if there's any mention of the star forge and what it might do. We must learn why Revan and Malak sought it out. Return to your ship with Bastila, and we will summon you when we are done. Another vision? Padawan, oh. you have done well in discovering the star map hidden within the ancient ruins. But there is more you must do in the battle against Malak and the Sith. We Jedi know victory over the Sith will not come through martial might. The Council has a mission for you, Padawan. I've consulted our vast archives in an effort to discover the nature of this Star Forge, but all my efforts have been in vain. Still, the Council are in agreement. The Star Forge must be found. Revan and Malak sought it out when they began their tragic fall. The Star Forge is surely a powerful tool of the dark side. The star map in the ruins showed you four planets, but it was incomplete. It did not show the location of the Star Forge itself. We believe there may be similar star maps on other planets. Each star map is likely a small piece of a larger puzzle. Find the star maps on Kashyyyk, Tatooine, Manan, and Korriban, and we believe they will lead you to the Star Forge. I am ready to do the Council's will. The Jedi numbers have been ravaged by this war. By defections to Malak's cause, and by Sith assassins. But we realize the importance of this mission. Yet if we send a company of Jedi Knights with you, we would surely draw the full attention of Malak and the Sith, dooming your efforts to failure. Might want to take this task Secrecy alone. is our best defense against the Sith, but it would be foolish to send you on this quest without someone to aid you, young Padawan. Bastila will accompany you, for there is a powerful connection between you two. A connection that might be the key to unraveling the mysteries uncovered by Revan. And Juhani has also asked ah. to accompany you. After long deliberation, we have granted her request. Juhani nearly fell to the dark side. Perhaps her presence will serve as a reminder to you of the dangers of that path. There are others I want to Of join course, me. those who aided you on Taris will also come. They possess skills you may find useful in your quest. Remember that secrecy and discretion are paramount to your success. You will not be able to hide the fact that you are a Jedi, nor should you. But the true nature of your mission must not reach Malak's ears. You may return here at any time. Dantooine will be a sanctuary for you, a safe haven. Here you can find supplies and whatever advice or other aid we may give you. When do I leave? You can leave whenever you wish. The sooner, the better. The longer you wait, the stronger Malak becomes. But first, a warning, young Padawan. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Star Forge could lead you down an all-too-familiar path. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands, young Padawan. We pray you are up to the challenge. May the Force be with you. Oh, it wasn't Baluk, it was Sar. Alrighty. Um.
Yeah, I guess we'll save outside the ship. Um... So there you have it. That is Dantooine done and dusted. Um, so thank you everybody so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out Squadrons of Star Wars Story. Oh. Uh-huh. How do you know the council gave me a mission? <laughs> Creatures are born of the dark side. Terran Tatek feeds on the blood of those who are strong in the force. Why are you telling me this? Target for the creature. Interesting. Malik's rise is awoken them. The Great Hunt? Okay, the Terran Tatic. What cost? Korriban, of course. Duran, Keldroma, Gunhan, Sharesh, and Master felt them to come with force when they left this world. Thanks for the warning. Well, that's good to know. Not at all intimidating. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. May the force be with you, and bye for now.